Okay, for those of you that really like to eat pike, and it's a good eating, really good eating fish, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this boneless. So put, this is a pretty decent size, nine pound pike. Put, put it up on its belly, like so, and start right in behind the head, right here. Cut right to the bone, and once you feel the backbone, turn your knife and take that piece right off the back, like so. It's a little tough, but only it go as deep as the backbone, and you want to pull that. Oh, a little bit tricky to do. There we go. And you want to, you want to get that slab right off the back, and when you get to the dorsal fin, there we go. Come out. So there's one good size piece. Now, where the dorsal fin and the backbone line up, you start right there on a, on a little bit of an angle and you go from one fin to the other. And what you do there is take that tail piece right off. Okay? That's another boneless piece. Now, at this point, you want to go about about three quarters of an inch on pike this size and cut that out because the Y bones will come there and they come right down into here. So you want to take a fillet. Here we go. Right off the side. And the way to do that is really good. You can turn your pike up on its end. And you'll see a row of Y bones, you'll see the backbone, and then you'll see another row of Y bones. So you want to start on the outside of that row of Y bones and start taking the fillet right off the side. Yeah, like so. Now when you go in, go right in until you hit the rib bones. There we go. And follow those rib bones right down. Always cut away from your hand, always away. Yeah. So you're going to hit them rib bones. There we go. And you're going to go right out into the belly cavity, like that. Don't lose that belly meat. The belly meat is very good. There we go. There. So that's a, a boneless fillet there. Now you're going to go on the other side and do the same. So line up the fin, the dorsal fin to the back fin, and cut straight across there, and then out to the tail. Like I was saying before, those are boneless pieces off that tail that are perfect. We'll skin those after. About three quarters of an inch down, and then you're going to do the same thing here. Come in on the uh, on the outside of the Y bones on that side now, and you'll feel the Y bones are just usually in that section there. And you're going to take that fillet right off the side like that. I can feel the, the, the rib bones already there. Follow them rib bones right into the belly cavity, like so. Goes pretty quick. So, I'll take the slab of meat off, like so. There, and that's it there. So there's your meat. And you've got the two tail sections and the back. You can split this in half and skin it. You can skin that. But here's a trick here. This back piece that you took off the back first is going to have a row of bones up the center. I just want that to fall down. There we go. There we go. Okay. So start on one side of that bone. You'll feel it. And go down to the end just till you feel the skin. When you feel your knife touch the skin, turn it and go out. Down to the skin, turn it and go out. Down to the skin, turn it 
I didn't go out like so. So you're going to take that, basically that half of that fillet right off of there, like so. There, another boneless piece right off the back. Turn it this way. So this, the row of bones is in the center. Okay, just like so. Like that, like that. Right down, and there's the bones right in there. All right? Yeah, that row of bones will just fall over to that side. Once you touch the skin, turn the knife, and go right out, and that beautiful boneless piece will come right off of there. So there's two of them. Okay, so that's got the row of bones in the center. Now these guys here, if you take another knife like this, but right, I got a really long fillet knife, and this comes in handy. Put the knife in the end, all right, and this will get you started with skinning. It's really quick. Pull one away from the other, and you got a boneless piece like that. Beautiful. There's the skin. Okay, let's try that again. I'll show you. Take the knife, put it in, in the center, one knife against the other, and start pulling away. Then grab it. Comes out really good. There. Skin. Perfect meat. See? There you go. Boneless, boneless, boneless. Now this piece here, I guess we got a few minutes. I'll show you how to do this. You split this in half. It's a little bit tough. Because the center, you got to get between the bone and the right spot. There we go. You have to go sometimes there. Split that down the middle. Like so my knife's starting to get dull. I've been I've been cleaning a lot of fish with this uh, this knife. So good to have a really sharp knife, of course. There we go. I got it now. Okay. There. So these come in half. Now you want to take that fin out of there because there's a big bone where the where the fin is. There, take that out. Get that to cut. There we go. There and come the other way. Get the bone. I'm going right around that bone. I'm being staying real tight to that bone because I want to get the maximum amount of meat. There we go. There we are. Okay. There it is. That's the that's the bone and, and the fin out. So now you want to skin that. So again, take your knife, stick your knife right in the end. Like that, one knife against the other, and you start to cut away from yourself. Like so, then you grab. Once you get about an inch, you grab the the fillet, and you start to skin it. Take your strokes across. And you can work that away from yourself. And the skin comes away really fast like that. See? Once you get it going good, it's quite good. There. There. Well, I'll do that with the other piece too, but you end up with five fillets. Or six fillets. Two, three, four, five, six fillets of boneless pike. And that's how you do it.